Hi everyone and welcome to Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a blueberry coffee cake. So we're going to begin by sifting our dry ingredients that I've already measured out. And our dry ingredients are basically just some all-purpose flour, salt, and baking powder. So I'm just going to put them in here. And we sift it to make sure that if there's any bits of hard flour or some stone or something get out and also it keeps everything nice and light. And you see all these hard bits, you definitely don't want them in your cake. You don't want to bite into anything hard when you're making cake. Okay, so I'm going to put them on the side. A good tip, I've already pre-measured uh, everything out ahead of time, but a good thing is so that way you have less things to wash. Measure out your dry ingredients first and then measure your wet ingredients. So I have <clears throat> the sifted flour with the sugar and the baking powder. We're going to need some pure vanilla extract, butter, two eggs, and a quarter cup of milk, a little bit of lemon for the zest because lemon and blueberry goes really nice together, and some sugar. Pretty much that's all you need for the actual cake itself. Then we're going to go to the topping as soon as we put all of this together. So I have the sugar measured out into my mixing bowl. And I'm going to put the softened butter in here. And I'm just going to mix that until it's nice and combined and fluffy, just with a hand mixer. If you have a tabletop mixer, even better, use that. Make sure your butter is at room temperature so that way it mixes really easily. Now I'm going to put my eggs and my milk in here. And I'm also going to put about a teaspoon and a half of pure vanilla extract. So I get this open. And you want to make sure you use pure vanilla extract. Never ever use that imitation stuff, okay? If you don't have vanilla extract, use something else that you like, almond extract or something like that. So one and a half teaspoons, and I kind of never measure uh, my vanilla extract. I almost always put a little bit more than the recipe calls for. Not that much more, but nothing happens if you put a tiny bit more. So now I'm just going to mix all these ingredients until they're well incorporated. And another thing I wanted to mention was that just make sure that the eggs and the milk are also at room temperature so everything combines nicely. <laughs> And right now I'm just going to zest some lemon. You just want to get the yellow part of the lemon and that's the really flavorful, nice uh, part that's going to add brightness to this recipe. Uh, when you get to the white part, make sure you don't grate that. That's really bitter and you don't want anything bitter in this cake. Just really nice, light, fragrant uh, flavors. So I'm making this cake today um, for my neighbors. They're my new neighbors that just moved in. And what better way to welcome them to the neighborhood than with some nice dessert that they can have with their coffee tomorrow morning or maybe even tonight. So you just need a little bit of zest. I love lemon zest. I try to put it wherever I can. Um, you can definitely substitute any other citrus zest that you like, lime, orange, whatever you prefer. You're making this cake at home, so make it the way you like it. Okay, now I'm just going to slowly add in my flour, a little bit at a time, and I'm going to start it off on a slow speed. And you never want to overmix any kind of cake batter, otherwise you'll um, make it very tough and bread-like instead of cake-like. So I'm just going to try to clean off all of the batter from the beaters and put it in here like that and then I have about three cups of fresh blueberries you can use frozen if you like um, you can also substitute any kind of berry or even mixed berries and add them to this um, I'm just going to put a little bit of flour over my berries so that way they don't all sink to the bottom I'm going to mix them up Meaning they won't sink to the bottom of the cake pan. They'll be kind of suspended in the batter rather than just all falling to the batter, to the bottom, I should say. Okay, so I'm just going to fold these in gently.
This is a super easy to make cake and it's really, really flavorful. And you don't even need any special kind of pans for this, just a simple nine by 13 inch, uh, you know, traditional baking pan. And you can spray this with uh, a cook cooking spray so that way it doesn't stick. But what I like to do is save my butter wrappers and just rub them all around the cake. And the butter that's in the cake should also prevent it from sticking further, but really that's all you need. Okay, just make sure it's all well blend mixed. And now I'm just gonna pour my batter in here and spread it out. And I've already, um, ha I, re I already have my oven going. It's preheated at 350, so this will be ready to go in. The best thing about a coffee cake is the streusel topping, and as soon as I spread this batter out, I'm going to show you how to make that. It's really, really simple. Streusel topping is basically just sugar, flour, and some butter, and then some seasonings like um, uh, cinnamon, which is one of my favorite seasonings. Okay, so that's it, it's all spread out. Now we're just, I'm gonna put it on the side so I can make my streusel topping. I'm just gonna get my butter out of the fridge and then we'll get going. Okay, so I got my butter and when you're making streusel topping, the butter needs to be cold. It shouldn't be room temperature or melting or falling apart. So I have my butter, which is a whole stick of butter that I've kind of cut into little cubes. In here I have flour, sugar, and cinnamon. And I'm just going to mix this, the dry ingredients up like that. And then you kind of just break the butter up in here with your fork. If you have a pastry cutter, you can go ahead and use that. Okay, so that's it. This is all ready. I'm just going to, with my hands, just kind of put it all over the top of the cake. Just like that. You can even make this in little cupcake pans and make a little blueberry coffee cake muffin type things and just like serve them at a, at a brunch or even at a tea party if you're going to do that. It comes out really good. Okay, that's it. This is going to go in my preheated oven. It's going to bake for about 35 to 40 minutes or until a toothpick that's inserted in the middle comes out with just crumbs and no batter. It's going to be delicious. I'm going to put it in, let it bake, clean up a bit, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. All right, so the blueberry cake came out of the oven, and look at it. It's beautiful and really hot. Okay, it's, I let it cool for a few minutes. Um, technically, let it cool for about at least 15 minutes before you dig into it. And the top is nice and crunchy the way it should be. I'm going to cut a little piece out of here and hope it doesn't fall apart. I'm going to display it nicely in a nice platter for my neighbor, but I want to take out a piece so that way I can show you how good it looks. So after you're done watching this, you can get on my website, www.demetriusdishes.com, get the recipe for this and make it. Okay, this is what it looks like. And on my website, you're going to look for blueberry uh, coffee cake. I actually call this blueberry not just for coffee cake because it's obviously not just for coffee. You could drink it with tea like I like to drink it, or with coffee, or with a nice big glass of milk. All right, so this is what it looks like, you guys. Look at it. Delicious. If you could just smell it. It smells so good. It smells like cinnamon, and you could smell a little bit of... You could actually smell the blueberries. They smell really good, and that's what it looks like. Go on the website, leave me some comments, tell me what you'd like to learn how to make or bake, whatever you like. I'll answer, I'll answer your questions, follow me on Facebook, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.